What's happening, everybody? All right. Spot market money. Let's see what's happening. What's up, Philip? What's going on? Um, let's see what's happening. All right. Cruising the road. Ralph, what's happening? We're going to try some new software. Uh compliments of pale rider tv what's up trucker seals so we'll see how it goes right we'll see how it goes um there we go we'll see it what's up rd trucking what's happening so we are going to go into spot market money one two three load board and here we go let's see what we got going on uh let's just do this let's do this Let's see how this uh, works. See, that's not working out right the way it's supposed to work. So there we go. Boom. Here's our map, density map. We'll change this trailer to van. There we go. What's up, Kale Miner? What's happening? And we'll see what the density map has to offer for van loads on Monday. Let's see what we got. Ooh, look at We got some green here. Got some green action. Um. Got a little yellow here and some red, green in Texas. We got some guys here in Texas. We got some up over here in Maryland, PA, in New York, uh, Wisconsin, Michigan. Man, they're all over the place, right? All over the place. So, and if you want me, if if you want me out. Now we got sound. Check, check, check. Audio. We should have audio now, right? We got audio? Yeah, I don't know. Now we got sound. Okay, we have audio. Check, check, check. All right, so... Yeah, learning this new thing. Snorlord wanted me to do this. It's all Snorlord's fault. So if you see Snorlord in the chat, give it to him. Give it to him. Snorlord's fault. Because I know my other technology that I use. This is kind of different. This is a different technology. Uh, you know, because this one, see, Snorlord wanted me to do this. Because I could paste this right here into the chat. And then anybody wanted to join in could just click on that and join in, right? So here's the outbound freight. Looks good. Sandusky, Michigan to Worcester, Ohio, $1.94 a mile. 
520, seventy seven to Louisiana, two thousand bucks, buck seventy six, buck seventy one, buck sixty three. The rates are looking a little better here. Um, you know, let's say you take this one over to Minnesota from Ludington, dollar seventy one. You see that it is seven cents above, and some parts of Michigan are opening up. Some parts will be opening up on Friday, I believe. It was. General Motors went back to work. Yeah, they're opening up the automotive plants. You're going to see some van freight getting on up there. You're going to see some van freight um, getting on up there. I'm telling you. Interstate loads. Bang. Let's click on the interstate loads. Muskegon to uh, Heartland, Michigan. Fitton to Addison. You got some interstate. So that's how you work if you just want to Click on a state if you're there, and you can see the outbound, and we'll go by rate per mile in Texas, and it'll show you the outbound, and then if you click on the interstate, it'll show you that too. So 250, 202 a mile to Alberta, Calgary, Alberta. Look at that. $1.93 to Colorado, $1.89 to Oklahoma, 167 to Florida. Now, this is good. San Antonio. Chop tank to Munster Nia, $1.63. You know that's got to be above. 34 cents booming out there in Texas. Right? Yes, Norlord, you're good at messing up things. You know what I'm saying? That's how good you are. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's see what's going on. The UP in North Michigan can go to the bar again Friday. That's right. You, they can. Yes, they can. And I don't know how you add people in here either. So, you know, store order if you want to try it. I don't know if a button pops up or whatever it is. I don't know. It's new software. You told me to try it. All right. So find loads. We're going to find some loads. And the internet is slow today, man. We got all kinds of rain. I think we're flooded out. Um, let's do a pickup city. Holland, Michigan. 150 miles. Let's do the drop off. Anywhere. Van. 741 exact loads. It's probably going to go across the pond of Lake Michigan, right? The lake there. And hit Wisconsin, which it did. Right. It did it. I knew it would do it. And it did it. Illinois, Illinois, Illinois. A lot of good stuff out of Illinois. I mean, 217 a mile, 238 a mile, 208 a mile, dollar ninety-eight a mile over to Connecticut. I mean, here's dollar eighty-three down to Dallas, Texas, out of Chicago for Wednesday. That's still a couple of days away, folks. Here's Snorlord. Let me see how you do this. Add Snorlord to the stream. Yep. Says I'm in. You did Says it. In. You did it. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. There you go. You pulled it off. Yeah. I pulled it off. See, and I can put you up there and now you, you run the show. You're all screwed. Rates suck. No. no I'm I'm just saying, um actually I'm I'm seeing the rates increase a little bit. Um I booked the load on a Monday morning, like within five minutes. Usually that's usually been a bear here lately to try to book something last minute Monday. But we're rolling until Wednesday, and then, of course, I got outbid on something on Wednesday. So, oh, well, we'll keep trying. All right. So there you are, Snorro. Look at that. I guess it's working. I, I think you like this thing here, don't you, this, this program, I guess. Yeah, I, I, Pale Rider was the originator of it. He is the pioneer. Everybody else is a follower. There's yeah. no way I compete with you guys now. Oh, you want to compete? You can compete. Uh, uh, Should we change your name for you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, he says. I am tired. Chucky's right. I am tired. Yeah, he, he is tired. Because, you know, I, I sat there and watched... Um, uh, Keith, you know, Pale Rider TV, do do some things, right? Try to do some things in the back, 
and he would just get real quiet, right? Mm -hmm. So, and you know, he was doing something in the back office of this program. Yeah, it was texting the whole nine yards, but man, I, I pulled into a big box retailer that is infamous for not letting you in an hour early. More than an hour early, man. My appointment was at twelve thirty. They got me in at six, and I was unloaded by nine. It was awesome. That's awesome. And yeah. you know, you might even get paid for it. I don't know. I paid you for the stuff like on Saturday or Sunday or something. Um, yeah. You know, somebody just sent an offer for something. Uh, did you see? I put your snorlord is in the house. See, I'm oh, a yeah. two tail rider, right? We'll, we'll get it going on. Somebody else wanted to join in, they could join in, right? It's easy. Click on the link. Yep, and then you you can approve people, so you can't like get the trolls or whatever. So if someone comes in that wants to come in, and you don't recognize or anything. You just hit dump. So yeah, so we're looking at the freight here, and uh, it's looking pretty good. You know, we, we go over and search uh, your territory. Why not? Uh, Joplin, Missouri. Yeah, Joplin Market. Yeah. What's that looking like? It's looking like 319 loads anytime, any day. Um, going anywhere. 429 a mile, 300 bucks, Arkansas to Arkansas. 600 Arkansas to Oklahoma for 270 That's not too bad, right? How about yeah. Springfield to Dallas for $800, $1.92? Is that pretty good? Um, yeah, I mean, especially now it is, I, I, I've got, I've done that run anywhere between 800 and a thousand. Depending yeah, on what food it, I catch the broker in. It's 38 cents above the two week average. Yeah. Of a dollar 54. So it is a good rate right now. It's coming up, right? It's coming up. Yeah. I've noticed that they're about, they're up about 10, 20% that I've noticed. So. Dollar 46 to Utah. They could keep it. Twenty-three forty-eight dollar thirty-four to California. And sorry to say, that's probably uh, actually it's below the average, which is kind of weird. Nine cents. Well, you know why? Because like the DAP board had like three thousand loads coming out of California, only three hundred coming in. So they know that you're going to get it coming out. So they're not paying anything to go in there. So yeah, they're, they're cost averaging. The so I was I was talking to a friend of mine. The thing to do would be take a load to Arizona, and then jump over to California to grab that freight freight coming out. Right, do a shorty. Yeah, do a short hopper in there. Get a, get to Carlsbad. Look, eight hundred forty one loads out of Carlsbad area. Um, let's see what they got shaking. Let's see some money. Thirteen hundred bucks right here. Oh, we got to answer this. Hold on a second. I'm going to let you take over, Snowlord. All right. All right. So um, I hope everyone's well. And um, can you guys hear me okay? Um. Those of you who don't follow Christian Trucker, he went live for the first time today. So be sure to go check out his channel. Um, let's see, who else can I push? I would push Chucky's channel, but he hasn't done a video. Um, yeah, I've been kind of put on the spot. <laughs> hey, Chucky, text Pell Rider. Tell him to come in here. Um, so let's see. I really don't have any insight on the spot market other than it's still kind of, eh. Um, oh, I I'll talk about something. So today I parked next to this U.S. Express truck. And, and, and I like when it's this time of year, it's real nice. I'll, uh. I like to sit with my windows open. So this guy pulls up next to me, and he's this truck is going. Shh, shh, shh. 
his, his air dryer was messed up. So to compensate for it, he puts his engine on high idle. I couldn't hear anything. So I literally moved across the parking lot. I got annoyed with that. Christian Trucker, does he like our main? I don't know the hula. You have to ask him. Yeah, that's the cool thing about this uh, stream yard is that it's very crystal clear. And I think I'm on the headset too. So you could sing something. No. All right, we're back. I think Storlord kicked himself off. He got his phone call. He's all about business, bam, bam. He's out of there. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't even hold the fort down. So sorry for the dead air there for a second. Um, but we'll keep on rolling. Out of Carlsbad. We'll get out of there. Um, let's shoot on over to uh, Davenport. Uh, we, figured, we figured he left us, Storlord. So we're just going to keep on rolling here. 518, you know, John Armstrong could have called in. You know, he could have done it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, Willie. Willie Anders, you know, Thunder Funding, Scott Kennedy. Those guys could have clicked on the link, right? They could have clicked on the link. They could have came in here. They could have saved the day. Lauren, you know, Lauren Metz. Lauren, where are you? Click on the link. Uh You'd be live, real easy, simple, right from your phone, right? Snorlord showing us how to do it. He's showing us how to do it. There's the there's the link right there in the chat. Boom. All right. So we are out of Davenport, Iowa. With Van Freight, we're looking pretty good out of there, too. Chop tank, $1,600, 6, 1600 bucks, 265 a mile. Tuesday, going out of Kingsport, Tennessee. That is way above, folks. Look at that. That is almost double. Almost double. But, you know, you could stay home. Stay at home. Keep your truck parked. Just stay home. Because um, somebody's running 265 a mile. You have a face radio. 27% <laughs> uh, increase freight volume. This is what Jarn Armstrong has to say. Got the dog with him. See that? Uh, from last week, via truckstop.com. Uh, Dennis, what's going on? Dennis says, I could have come in, but have a face radio. And then he's laughing about it. He's laughing about it, folks. Offer accepted. What was that one all about? We just got another offer accepted. Let me check this out. Business. We got business to do. We'll be with you guys in the flat betters are up 46%. The Hool says 24, 27 drops, 28 hours on load. There you go, Hool. Um, let 
Let me look. Let me look. Oh, here we go. All right, anyway. All right, let's get rolling. What up, Daniel? What's happening? What's happening, Daniel? We're trying out a uh, little pale rider action here to see what's happening and so forth and so forth. What's the date today? The 18th? Yeah, it's not, it's not going there. All right. So let's do this. All right. So, hammer down. That's right. We're just doing all kinds of things. Let's do a refresh. All right. Now we're on Facebook, too. So I see how that works. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning this thing. I don't know if I'll stick with this program. You guys let me know. You know, do you like this platform better than the other platform? Um, does it really make a difference? I don't know. Does it? You guys are the judge. You guys are watching. Does it look the same, different, whatever. All right, this one's no longer available. As you see, for the $35, you get the premium plus, and it automatically updates. Uh, the nice folks there at 123 Load Board. When they're not doing TikTok videos, they're hooking us up with some really cool features. All right, let's go on over to Albany, New York. Let's check out the East Coast. East Coast is usually booming. 335 loads. Bam, here it comes. I mean, you can make some decent money over there. Uh, you know, here's Piston PA, SRAM Logistics. Empty Fuel Corp loves SRAM Logistics. 246 a mile, 700 bucks. But when you come back across, you're going to take it in the shorts. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not going to be good. Uh, the median average coming out of there is going to be around the thirty mark across into the um, middle of the country. Now, here's a good one here. Mountaintop PA to Streetsboro, Ohio, 500 bucks, $1.55. That's a pretty good rate out of there. It's rate right on the money. Um, but as you see, if you come down here, you'll see some Wisconsin stuff at $1.16 out of Watkins Glen, which is probably salt. That's below. That's, that's taking a 12 cent dip. Um, $1.09 to Kentucky. $1.02 to Iowa Cohen Systems. That's way low. Uh, that, that really stinks right there. Uh, I don't know what these guys are trying to pull. But we all know that that pays a whole lot more money than that. So, you know, quit taking it to the driver and pay it. That load there is probably paying around sixteen fifty, seventeen hundred to that broker, and they're coming in at a thousand fifty. What's up, little Viking coach? What's happening? LVC, don't be so negative. It doesn't matter. See, LVC could he could join the chat, right? He could he could just flop right on in there. Uh, but he'd have to put a mask on, and he I don't know if he carries that with him or not. You know, I don't know. Does he carry that with him? Little Viking coach, do you carry that with you? The robots are coming, John. Don't you worry, John. All right, we'll put that in there one more time. There you go, little Viking coach. If you want to be on there, you got the mask, put the mask on. Well, you know you don't even have to have a mask. Aren't you supposed to be wearing one anyway? Put your little face mask on there, you know, respirator thing, you know, so you don't don't contract the COVID. Uh, Snow Lord is back. Yeah, you left me hanging, Snow Lord. See how it is? See how you are, man? You just left me. You just left me. Boom, we're full screen now. Maybe we get the hang of this stuff. 
It's like being in a studio. Let's rock it out. Look at this cheap load, Arrowhead Train. This is LTL, though. I mean, if you put a couple LTLs together, you might end up with a good load. Uh, Coyote. That'd be ashamed of yourself, Coyote. Edison, New Jersey to Bloomington, Indiana. Really? Really? 85, 84 cents? Man, really? Man, that's not that good. But they do have some good stuff out of there. There's just not that load. All right, let's get out of Albany, New York. Um, let's go down to Hot Atlanta. Let's go visit Al. Let's see what old Al's doing down there in Atlanta. 663 loads. Batman always has a mask. Well, come on, little Viking coach. Click on it. Go ahead. Click on that link. You can be live. No one's going to say nothing. They're not, they're not going to, you know, stop watching your videos. They love your videos. Um, what else we got here? Oh, John's talking about, man, they're talking about robots. Maybe they want those uh, trucks to come in. You know what I'm saying? They want those trucks to come in. Yes, he got an important phone call. Global Trans, right here out of Villa Rica de Oche, Ohachi, Alabama, however you say it anyway. 300 bucks, $600, Birmingham, Birmingham, Alabama to Cantonay, Florida. Another 600, 600, 600, 250, 254, 222, Alabama down to Florida. A lot of stuff going to Florida. Dolly 91 over to North Carolina. So, you know, some pretty decent rates, right? We're not down to dollar fifties or forties. I mean, you right there shows you you can haul all day long. For above uh, more than that dollar fifty a mile, you can you know dollar seventy four, two dollars, two fifty four, three oh nine, four bucks. It's right there. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, was that little Viking coach? No, I, I got my mask on. He's not saying nothing. What? Oh, there you go. I was asking if that was little Viking coach. No, this is what little Viking coach would look like, though. No, <laughs> he would. He would look just like that, but only his nose would be bigger. Yeah. And, and I drive like that, too, because I don't want to get the COVID while I'm driving. No, this is what little Viking coach would look like, though. <laughs> awesome uh lots of laughs snow low that's what john armstrong is saying look at that uh same load says hustle bones the same load all right so let's go on down here i mean george is not like man look at this when have you last seen this snore lord dalton georgia lansing michigan online freight 1500 bucks 222 a mile go back to michigan from georgia look at that cool Driver needs tanker endorsement. 22 totes of liquid product. Ready today. That's, that's good pay. Go up to Michigan. I mean, you can see it's 73 cents above. Things are rocking. States are starting to open, right? Hey, mass man. Oh, it's Snorlord. <laughs> Dude, how'd you fit all that uh, beard up in there? I you know, did. It's all you know, my sister made me a mask, and the shipper I was at last night, they, they you had to wear masks to even pick up the load, and I could barely breathe in the dang thing. That's why I bought one of these motorcycle deals, because it, it works for the effect of, hey, I'm wearing something over my face. It doesn't really stop any bacteria, but, you know. Well, we are looking at some freight now out of Fort Worth, Texas area. And uh, if you go up here, you know, dollar thirty, dollar fifty a mile, it's it's the short stuff. Interstate Texas. Uh, they do have a dollar sixty-seven down to Plant City, Florida. And then, of course, a couple dollar miles of the short, short stuff. All right, Snow Lord, since you're wearing that mask, give your list of demands, says Dennis Boland. From the tube. Give your list of demands. Come on, Snorlord. Snorlord. Can you hear me? Yeah, give your list of demands. Oh. Um, 
Hundred grand, we're good. Hundred grand, you want that in PPP E I L D? <laughs> uh, we got a thing here from Perry. Better pull a mask over your eyes. Then they are saying that you can get it by rubbing your eyes. Uh, the reality is, is, is the mask really doesn't help that much. It really doesn't. John Armstrong says the Dow is up nine fifty seven. Whoopee! Yeah. So I'm learning this software that you know he put in here. Um, yeah, not bad. You know, not bad. <laughs> I mean, I could throw this, that logo up there. You know, you could throw that logo up there. You know, we could play some music, put some background in there like that. Now, now we're looking even better instead of just having a black background. What do you think? Yeah. You want a commercial? Yeah. I'm getting it. <laughs> so basically that is and look, new loads just popped up. Boom. Let, let's go see what it is. Uh posted age, right? So we can see the seconds. 51 seconds ago. Pepsi logistics. Can you get them on the phone, Snorlord? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll be nice. I, the, the only strategy with Pepsi is to take that one guy that you booked the load with and email him or call him directly. Now, here's TQL. They got a Dallas, Texas to Monroe, Louisiana, and a Conroy, Texas to Indianapolis, Indiana. That's probably one load that goes somewhere in between the two. Yeah. What I found is if TQL loads, posts the load 10 times, you can usually figure out the destinations between the two. Like, like, uh, I've got a little system for them. Yeah. Um, now, now, Jeff, let, let me ask you this. So, for people new to load boards, is it better to, like, what's the best way to sort? Like, when I look at the load board, I look at posted age first, but then in, sometimes I'll do highest rate first to see what, what kind of the temperature is, and then, and then I'll go to posted age um, what, what's the best way or, or is there a combination of ways like back when you were in the trenches with us? I mean, what, what, what did you do? How did I search? Yeah. Uh, it depended on what I wanted to do. I'd have like three searches in the, uh, in the hopper. So I could just click the buttons real quick, but I would search, you, you know, my running area. I'd like, to, I'd like to run Wisconsin, Indiana, Illinois, and Ohio, mm -hmm. out of Michigan. So I'd have one search, say, in Michigan, going to and show those other states. Uh -huh. So I, that's all the loads I would see. Is anything coming, let's say, within 150 miles of where I was in Michigan, going to those three states or four states, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, and Wisconsin? And that's all I would see. I wouldn't see the other stuff. Right? Mm -hmm. And then I would have uh, maybe around – just Michigan to Michigan, you know, around where that just to see the interstate stuff. So I went to sort through it all, mm -hmm. but that's how I would do it. And then I would have, uh, if I seen a load, I would go to that area and look real quick and see what came back to those states or just ran around in that state. And that's basically how I did that. Mm -hmm. um, if I wanted to go further out, then I would sort it by rate per mile. And I would look at, going that further south for the most money per mile. You know, that way, I if I said I'm not going low on a dollar fifty, let's say, when I got down to that area, I just stopped looking. I wouldn't go further down. Right. Because that's below what I wanted. Yeah, sometimes I've been surprised because if, if you go by posted age, you know, you see a load on there that's been on there for like six or eight hours. You think, well, it's, it's got to be gone by now. The broker just forgot to take it off, right? But every now and then I call and it was still there. They hadn't covered it yet. Yeah, just like um, the Dean. The Dean was on the phone with me. He's in, he's in the East Coast. Can you believe that? Dean is on the East Coast. I know. 
Ah, he's on the desperate East times call for desperate measures. This just I mean, shows how extreme the situation we're in. But he calls me. He says, I'm looking at this load. And we bid on it. And a JB called him. And JB was talking to him. As JB was talking to him, I was on the broker software, right? And I was doing the rate for that lane. And JB was rating that median part. So, you know, they're getting more. But they didn't want to come up to even the median. They were like right there. He asked for another 50 bucks. They were like, no. And I was like, better off just to do the other one. You know, take the one to Michigan. Mm -hmm. So he did take the one from JB. And then we had one from Coyote that came through. But when you've seen the product, you know, we're not going to haul coiled aluminum. And you got to block and brace and nail into your floors. And it's not worth it, right? Right. So I said, hey, Rob, you know, take the load to Michigan. You got them up to a decent rate, you know, halfway decent rate off that east because you want to be on the east coast. He had lots of good loads on the east coast if you wanted to run, you know, seven, eight hundred bucks for a couple hundred miles. But if you don't like it, you know, and he's he's got enough money so he doesn't have to do it, right? So I said, take the Michigan load because you can find some good stuff out of Holland. There's loads right out of there. You know, they might not be on the board now, but they will be. You still got two days, you know, before you're going to be there. There was there were some loads Wednesday that pick up Wednesday near Tulsa where I'm delivering that. Um, we're going up to Michigan. I thought about doing them. One of them. I know. I noticed that JB Hunt's not budging whatsoever. Still, Schneider went up a little bit. That's that's the load I got now. And and um, Coyote's actually been pretty good here lately. See, a couple loads I did pretty good with them. I th I think other trucker James Bess ought to come in here with us. We can, we can uh, rough them up a little bit. <laughs> rough them up? Yeah, Wait, he's just sitting at home probably. Need to, need to get him out there and do a little driving. No, he's working. Is he's he working? working? Yeah. Man, that KW is actually rolling? Yeah. What's, what, yeah. what's Daniel saying? Daniel saying OTJB. Wants a pug, especially my pug that I got. Well, let's see. I got another one. Hello. Yeah. Oh, I want a pancake for dinner. I I guess we're muted again. All right. Welcome to the new Jeffrey Like show where I'm not Jeffrey Like, but I'm going to talk on his channel. Welcome to the new world. And um, James Best, feel free to click in. That was my granddaughter, Steve, and she's putting in an order for yeah, pancakes. Yeah. Did you hear that? Did you hear the pancakes? Not We, we heard pancakes right before you clicked the mute button. Yeah. Wants pancakes for dinner. Well, as long as you don't have to cook it, it doesn't matter, does it? What What do you do? What pancakes are you talking about? Microwave pancakes? The frozen ones? Snow Lord, come on now. We're not doing the Hot Logic Mini to cook pancakes. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, kids want to eat this week. So. Look, look, the Italian Stallion's in here. Italian Stallion, guess what? The Dean is leaving the East Coast without even doing a run East Coast, East Coast. He got scared. He didn't want to step on your toes in your territory because he knew the Italian Stallion, you know, had connections. No, I, I know what Robert did. Robert did what I've done. Last time I went, I went up to Maryland, it was a nightmare because I screwed up. And, and, and what happened was is he went up to the Northeast. We all do run up to Pennsylvania or whatever. And then we we're reminded why we don't go up there. And so we don't do it again for about three months. And then we kind of forget, you know, it's a, it's a process. So I'm glad to see that Robert's doing that, that natural order of things. Go up there, remember why he doesn't go up there, and then go back. That's right. That's right. Here, I had to take my little truck off your, your – I couldn't do that because that was a Mac, and you're inside a KW. You just can't put a, a Mac into a KW. That would be that, – that's bad. Can't be doing that. Yeah, so OTJB is too late. I'm gonna have to get going because one, I got to see about 
I've already did payroll once today. You know, that's right. I did payroll once today. I might do it again. I don't know. Just depends. Well, hurry up. I need money. Well, you got money. Didn't you get paid today? Yeah, you gave me two ninety eight, but you said you were gonna give me two ninety nine today too. Oh, I could. I probably could. Maybe. Hey, if your granddaughter can command pancakes from you, I could demand what's coming to me. So. All right, let me take a look. Hold on a minute. <laughs> let me take a look here. Let me go on here. Let me do some login and login stuff. Hey, Paul McFarland's got a good question for you, Jeff. Yeah, what is it? Recommend the finance company to finance a startup trucking company. Uh, I don't know. I didn't have to worry about finance companies. Paul, I would try BMO. I would try... Uh, some of these dealerships have a banker's broker that will kind of find the best deal, depending on your credit. That's what I did for my first truck. Um, you got Triumph Business Capital. Um, you know, try your local bank too. See if they got a commercial uh, loan division, and then try Lending Tree. Yeah, try all those. Um, all those right there. Oh wait, we got somebody coming in here. Well, I think we got OT. <laughs> it's James. Some of us got to work. Some of us got to work, you know, Jeff. We just can't be out here YouTubing all the time. I'm not YouTubing. I'm, I was doing payroll. Oh, doing something, payroll? Something you miss. You can send me one of those. I do miss that. That's I miss, right. I miss right? those days. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. James put his cash app thing for his logo. That's <laughs> I've been in so many lives and I haven't done that. You think I would have been smart enough to do that? <laughs> hey, hey, Snow Lord. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. On two ninety nine. That's all the fuel you bought was that, right? Seventy yeah. gallons? Yeah. All right, I'll pay you today. Why not? Yeah. When did you deliver that? When did you deliver that? Uh, this morning. Oh, this morning. Look at that, James. Same day. What do you think? Well, I've I've been getting I've been doing pretty good, but I've been doing my uh doing my ten ninety nine or twenty two ninety. Have you? I'm doing my twenty two ninety going on right now. Hmm. Get that up and going. But I'm trying to Hello? Oh skip and continue. It's up to you and me now, James. He's on the phone. It's just me and you. Uh, I, I'm busy. <laughs> it's like the third time he's done this. I'm just, I'm just here for the cash app money. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Hmm. Well, James, where are what you? What are you guys talking about? I just I seen you guys are going live for twenty seven minutes. It probably took me ten minutes to figure out how to get in here. Um, I think Jeff was talking about his usual spot market stuff. Uh, rates are coming up a little bit. I know his volumes are up. Man, I booked the lows just like that on a Monday morning. Can you believe that? Usually Monday mornings is like is that right? Brutal. Yeah, that's good. Let's see if I can get rid of this light. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get anything out of Pennsylvania. I seen my go home load out of Batavia, so I figure I better take it, see if I can find anything to get me there. So far, nothing. So I'll probably be uh, rock and rolling out of Pennsylvania and just get my go home load. Go home and think about what's going on. See what's up. See what's next. See what's next. Yep. Are you going to have pancakes for dinner? Because that's what's going on at Jeff's house. No, I had, uh, I stopped in, uh, I took 30 to get here because I'm not, I'm going to skip the tolls. That'll save me a couple hundred bucks. So I'm going the long way because I got nothing but time. 
and then uh, sipped on the old fuel. But I stopped at the uh, Roadies Mobile. I think it's Mobile Station on 30 and grabbed a slice of pizza. And that'd, that'd be it for the day. I'm done. So I'm in Lodi, which is the last time I was here, they took my mirror out. So I, I parked in a, a good spot. I won't get hit tonight, hopefully. Yeah, I always try to park in those back spots. You know, like yeah, you if you get the straight out on down the row. Yeah, that's what I usually try to do. But last time I was here, all those were taken, so I had to take one of these angle spots. And there's no way anybody should be hitting anyone in this parking lot. But I know. Cause especially because they're all angled. I mean, it, it it should be easy to get out of here. But I still had pieces laying on the ground. Five hundred bucks, I think it was. Five or seven hundred bucks, something like that. Later, I think it was like, I don't know, it was about three or four because the mirrors are a hundred bucks a piece. Then that bezel wasn't that much, and the motor's not that much. So I think I might have been three, four hundred bucks for the mirror. Not bad price, really. But I didn't need, need the account. mirrors. The mirrors were still intact. But that? Did you put it all together yourself? Yeah, yeah, I tore it apart because the outside shell that goes on the back side. I guess I don't know where the camera is. The, you know, that, that cover, that, that was still good. But I had to take the bezel off, which is about six screws. And that six screws holds the, uh, the mirror in, holds the, the, the mirror motor in. And uh, so you can't pre-assemble it. You got to assemble it on the truck. But it wasn't bad. I took half hour. Oh, it, wasn't, it wasn't that, yeah, it wasn't difficult at all. That's, that's a hundred bucks right there. Oh yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, hey fellas, easy, easy. I I got to run, man. I got too much stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> you got pancakes, to be Jeff. Everything else is. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye, everybody. See you too. Later. Later. <laughs>